salmon fish and it's a unique experience. It's something that you read about in books and you see it on on television shows, but when you try it in, in real life, it's it's something that it's better than you even thought it would be. I didn't think that that uh, to get a salmon on the hook was would would be such a thrill to have this fight with the salmon and, and get it to shore and I can't wait to get the next one on hook. Supposedly here in Iceland, the first uh, salmon you uh, you catch, you have to bite the one of the fins off it. So I did that, and I ate it. It's delicate. I think this is going to be an annual tradition, for sure. I can understand why Eric Clapton does it. <laughs> We've done a, a small smoker ourselves. Everybody can do this in their home. You see a casserole this size, which fits, fits the fish. Uh, in the bottom, we have hay. You could use any type of wood, dried wood, or um, small pieces of wood as well. Then uh, some aloe foil uh, on top uh, to protect the, the salmon from, um, from, from the burning or very, very hot uh, uh, hay. And then uh, at last, we put the salmon on top, cover with the lid, and then we put it over fire. That's the most important part. I would say that a salmon like this, this size, which is two and a half, three kilos, one side only, will take um, 20 minutes to cook. Then it's cooked all the way through, uh, and the smoke is beautiful, and the fish is perfectly ready. And then you have to eat it straight after. The salmon, as I showed you earlier, uh, now it's been smoked. You can see uh, that it's been cooked all the way through and it's a little bit brown on the, the top. That is because it's cooked and it's been smoked. And you can just take a piece of the fish off. I have a taste and it's really damn good. Um, this was one side of the salmon. Um, the, other, the other side we, um, we chose to just to serve raw because it's so fresh and pure in taste that we wanted to, to have the essence of that flavor. For that, we picked some herbs uh, just outside, where uh, outside of the house. Uh, it's these herbs. They're called sorrel in English, I believe. It's a wild herb that's very acidic, extremely fresh, and that goes beautiful with uh, the salmon. For me, this is a perfect way to, to end a, a fishing trip like this. And the most important is, of course, that you have a good time and that you're with good friends.